Okay. So maybe tell us, um, you know, what did you do before you came to the residency? Yeah. So before I came to the residency, I worked for a year in Spain as an English conversation assistant. And then the well, after coming back from Spain, I was an AmeriCorps service volunteer for two years uh, with the Boulder County I Have a Dream Foundation, working in a tutoring program with um, students that are of a similar demographic to Denver Public Schools. Okay. And so, you know, do, what was it from those experiences maybe that brought you to Denver Teacher Residency? I think the thing for me was when I graduated from Colorado State, I just felt that I did, I wanted to do something with education, but I didn't want to be a teacher. But then I kept finding myself in situations where I was acting like a teacher without a lot of experience or training. And it just came to one point where I was basically running a summer school class. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm, why am I avoiding this? This is basically what I want to do. I want to be a teacher, and I want to find the right program that's going to prepare me best for it. And so I found Denver Teacher Residency, and I, th I thought, you know, I, I can't avoid this anymore. This is the experience uh, that that takes away the fear that I had of jumping into a classroom without having any sort of feedback, without having any sort of training. And so I, there was just no excuse for him anymore, and I decided to follow that career path. So You know, you might think, though, some of those experiences that you've had, like working with kids, that you might want to do a faster track. Why did you choose, you know, a year-long residency? I wanted to be prepared and start, oh, so I chose the residency because I wanted to be prepared to make a difference and to make the biggest difference as fast as I could. And starting with just a six-week training program just didn't feel like enough to be, to make a huge difference, to be an effective teacher from that first day as a teacher of record. So I chose the Denver Teacher Residency because I would still start in a classroom, but I wouldn't be all on my own right away. I would have someone there to show me what to do, to watch me do both things well and make a lot of mistakes, and then receive feedback on that right away, while also getting that more formal background that's provided through the university classes. So that's why I chose somewhat of a longer program. And then also, to be totally transparent, with a master's you get a higher pay than you do with a bachelor's. So mm -hmm. that was also a big incentive. Sure. <clears throat> and so that, and DU, were you excited about DU being there? I was excited about the University of Denver being a part of the program just because it provided a more diverse educational experience for myself. I went to Colorado State. I didn't, I would have loved to return to Colorado State, but I felt it was also awesome to be part of a different um, campus, to be part of more of Denver. I'm not from Denver. I never really uh, spent much time in Denver prior to the residency, so that just helped me integrate myself more into the city that I was, you know, that I work in and live in now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so, you know, did the residency prepare you well? I feel like the residency prepared me very well for being a first-year teacher in the district. It not only prepared me to instruct, it not only prepared me to know how to plan and manage a classroom, but it just also prepared me to know what to expect from Denver Public Schools. I was a part of that whole process. Uh, I, nothing came as a surprise to me throughout the year. So as they rolled out the full LEAP observation program, as we participated in uh, student growth objectives that have now turned into student learning objectives, I got to do that with a mentor who had done it as well. So I felt confident in every step of, um, of just taking on an academic year. Whereas I felt like a lot of people who even had experience prior to moving to Denver Public Schools were surprised by a lot of things that are done in Denver that are different from other school districts. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and tell me a little bit about working with families and kids. Did the residency help you know the community any better? or? I don't know if the residency prepared me to meet families better necessarily through programs they had made. However, just being part of the residency program, being at a school, being with a teacher who does home visits, prepared me to be involved with those school with uh, with families to be more involved with those things. We did, you know, classes discuss the importance 
frequently of parent communication. We talked a lot about understanding student background and culture and the importance of home visits. And then we got to, see, or at least I got to see that application of that concept with my mentor teacher by doing those home visits with her and then continuing to do them afterwards. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, that's big, making those connections. Yeah, making those connections does make a difference. It does help. Um, it does help create a relationship with students. And as we know, a, re a strong relationship with students is going to be your greatest leverage for both academics and behavior and for making a difference in that child's life for the year that you have them. So, absolutely. And so talk a little bit about um, the coursework and the clinical and maybe the kind of relationship between the two, the integration. You said a little bit there about, you know, learning about you know parent communication so maybe this like link between learning and applying mm -hmm. so i felt like that was what attracted me or one of the things that attracted me most to the denver teacher residency is it wasn't just a traditional path and it wasn't just an alternative path it talked about getting a formal education on being an instructor while also working in a classroom. And what I found was that what really aligned nicely with the Denver Teacher Residency is that as we learned things in the classroom, it really applied to what we were kind of experiencing. Um, or as we learned things at the university, it really related to what we were doing in the classroom. So, for example, at the beginning of the year, most of our classes were based on behavior and routines and those sorts of things that are are essential to establishing a good classroom environment from the get-go and then as the and then just had a lesson plan and those very basics that you have to lay the foundation of before you do anything else and then as the year progressed we had more um, you know we got to become better instructors through learning how to provide um, math instruction how to how to differentiate for students how to make sure you are serving all students, whether they are English language learners, whether they have special needs, whatever it is, that came later on in the year as we became more confident in those teaching basics. Great. <clears throat> so talk a little bit about some of the impact and success that you've had as a teacher, as a Denver teacher residency grad. What do you mean like, What's are you mean? looking for standardized uh, test results or are like, you um, looking for... However you measure impact, you know, talk to me a little bit about how you know you're having, you're making impact on your students. You can say pass. <laughs> um, that's a tough question. You caught us at a bad moment with like testing and everything. It's okay. Oh man, let's, did I test them? No, yeah, no, no worries. Um, you, tell me about, go back in your mind. Mm -hmm. Tell me about working with your mentor. Um, how did working with your mentor, um, what did that look like, you and your mentor working together? So working with my mentor in the Denver Teacher Residency, really, it starts almost the same way a school year starts. You know, she started building that relationship with me right away, showing me exactly what we have to do before the year starts. Everything that goes into setting up a classroom, everything that goes in getting ready for students calling students to make sure that they're going to be attending that year, um, calling parents to make sure they're attending parent night, making sure everything's just ready. And then from day one, she said, you know, I want to make sure the students feel like you're a teacher in the room from the first day. So even if it's just a 10 minute lesson, you're going to teach a 10 minute lesson that day. And every day you're in the room, you're going to teach something. And every time you teach, I'm going to provide you with some sort of feedback. And so from day one, I did a 10-minute lesson. It was pretty easy. Just students introducing themselves, writing a little bit about themselves, and she was able to give me feedback on it right away. Here were some things you did well. You gave very clear directions, and then there's some things that were different, like you want to make sure all students are paying attention when you give those clear directions. And then we just developed that relationship from there and just continued, and I just started to take on more and more responsibility towards the, till towards the end of the year where you know, I was in charge for you know, those three weeks to be, you know, a full teacher. So, and that relationship has continued even afterwards. She still calls in, checks how I'm doing. She came to my wedding. Um, yeah, and so we've talked a lot even since we've, um, even since that, since I don't work in her classroom anymore. Mm -hmm. And I felt the same way with 
the mentor I had, the mentee I had last year. We still stay in touch, and I still ask him how his year is going. He still asks me for advice, and I'm always there to provide for it. So it just helps expand that sort of network and that support that maybe is more absent for teachers who just come into the district without knowing anyone else. Mm -hmm. So there's all that. Mm -hmm.